national title. Why did you come? You didn't have to. Uh, I came to get matches in, really. Uh, I know there was going to be some tough competition here, and I just wanted to see where I was at. I did a pretty tough camp out in Germany, and I've been working on my lift a lot, so I wanted to test it out here. Obviously, some things I still got to fix with it, but I think I did, overall I did a, a really well job here. And uh, I got my push that I needed, and you know, just going to continue training until April. Speaking of things to fix, that's a gnarly cut you got over the right eye there. You're going to get that? It's just a love tap, man. It happens. <laughs> Uh, my good friend Alex gave it to me, so uh, I wasn't even mad at it, man. I just told him, like, he's going to pay for this, man. <laughs> but, you know, like, it's, it's adversity. Wrestling one eye, one eye, two eyes, it doesn't really matter, you know. But once you get your feel, you're just out there having fun. So, uh, you know, match is real close, and you go and you force a throw position. Take us through that, because, you know, you were not going to stop until you got that, were you? Uh, no, so uh, pretty much I know like everybody's strategy is to, to try and tire me out. Uh, first period was one and one. My coaches told me don't rush anything, just wrestle, play the game. And when I see it, take it. Uh, he ended up uh, breaking my lock. Then we switched it up. I was on bottom parterre, down one. And uh, with 150 left, that's a lot of time, you know, to, to set up your situations and uh, get into the right position. The good thing that I did do, uh, I didn't rush it. As soon as I got the lock, you know, I waited, got myself adjusted, and I took him for a ride. And right then and there, once it's 5-1, I know he has to wrestle me. And I'm one of the hardest people in the world to take down, if not the hardest. So at that point, I knew the match was in my hands. All I had to do was finish it out with good, hard pummeling. Obviously, all, all the fans love the throws. Uh, you were the most exciting guys you've to watch. But how important tactically, like you were saying, is it to have that form, to be able to hit something like that and then go up, not just by one or a step out or whatever, but by a whole bunch of points? I know whenever uh, I'm down, I'm not down by a lot. I know I have the the four capability, the five capability inside of me. It's just a matter of how I'm gonna get to it and when I'm gonna get to it. Uh, it's really helpful too that uh, my most excited moves are just my normal moves. So like the fans get to enjoy it, you know, really in a, a crowd and stuff. And you know, I, I, do, I do like to entertain. That's one of my favorite things about this sport. And you know, you can't entertain people you just winning one-one matches. You know, you have to go out there and uh, really try to achieve and thrive in that hard environment. Like these are some tough guys out here. You know, and to just like win one and one, I'm not really pushing myself. You know, I wanted nothing but domination. I couldn't get the tech in that one, and that one kind of hurt. Uh, but, you know, I closed it out, so I'm, I'm proud of myself there, though. So you're off a disappointing year. You know, you didn't get to go to the world. That's, you're going to be a world champ, Olympic champion. What did you do this year so far to get you to be right where you need to be for the trials and for the games? Uh, well, first of all, I had to uh, find myself. Uh, after Final X, I took a lot of time off and uh, just got like re in touch with uh, who Kamal Bay was. And uh, I had to go back, I had to remember my why, why am I doing this, because for a little bit it seemed like I didn't have one. And uh, it, was, it was tough, like it was, it was really stressful, you know, it was one of those uh, go through hell and come back type of situations. Uh, 2019 was a, was a hard year. I ended up losing one of my coaches, uh, JJ, J James Johnson, in the process, and that was like a really big hit to my heart. But it was also my bounce back. Uh, I owe a lot to JJ. You know, this tournament was actually for JJ. It's the reason I wanted to get back on my feet. You know, it was kind of hard looking over in my corner and not seeing him there. But I know each step of the way he was with me. I could feel it. Like, each match, I, I just know I could just hear his voice telling me, you got your head on your shoulders. And I was like, always. And, you know, just go right to action. Just go right to work. And uh, find out who I am and push myself to find out who I can become. So, uh, rest in peace, JJ. You know, this one's for him. Uh, <laughs> any more questions, guys? Uh, Dan Miller said he was wearing his hat out tonight. You're going to be wearing the hat. It seems to be fitting you pretty well. Oh, I'm not taking this hat off, man. <laughs> I, got, I got one back home already. Uh, one of my roommates, uh, my roommate Kyle Ferreter, uh, he's, he's like a cowboy. So like he has his hat, so I have to get one too. Now you get so, a match. Oh, yeah, absolutely. This hat's not coming out for at least a week. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Congratulations. Thank you so much, guys. Good job, man. Well done. You have a good one.